the Big Bang Theory. Um, I'd like to invite you all to um, a logical and reasonable debate regarding whether or not this could possibly uh, be something that could have actually happened. Now the Big Bang Theory claims that in the beginning there was nothing and then there was a huge explosion and the explosion created all of the minerals, gases, liquids, etc. which go to make up the whole universe and life itself eventually over a course of millions of years. Now there's a few problems here of course. Uh, one is that God claims that he created everything. Uh, this is something which is completely denied by people who don't believe in God or claim they don't believe in God. There are people who claim they don't believe in God but do and hate him. Um, and then there's the other problem which is that uh, John F. Kennedy, the President of the United States a while back, who was murdered shortly after making a very famous speech, said that there is a, a worldwide monolithic conspiracy at play, at hand, right now. And that this conspiracy involves not only government and business, but also science. Which means, of course, according to John F. Kennedy, that we cannot possibly um, accept what official scientists say. He has, in fact, said that they are untrustworthy because they are part of a monolithic worldwide conspiracy. Now let's take the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, which has been made by these official scientists, which John F. Kennedy has said cannot be trusted, and Jesus Christ has called liars, because God says he created everything, have said that there was a Big Bang out of nothing. Now, in terms of science, as far as science is concerned, I have a friend who is a scientist, a very intelligent man, and I had a brief conversation with him one day, uh, which turned into an argument. And I said to him that I don't trust scientists because they take hypotheses and claim them as fact when they cannot possibly be true. And he said to me that regardless of whether the hypothesis is factual or ridiculous, it is still science. I argued with him that I believed that science is when something is factual and not hypothetical, um, especially when it's completely wrong. And he argued back at me, as a scientist, that I was incorrect because whether it's right or wrong, if you have made a hypothesis, it is still science. So we have this problem where a hypothesis is claimed to be a reality, regardless of the fact that it cannot possibly be so. Let's look at this Big Bang. There was nothing. Suddenly, there was a huge explosion. Now, looking at this scientifically, in order to have an explosion, you need to have something there. You cannot make nothing explode. You need a certain set of minerals um, together. You need um, a charge. You need fire. You need, you, know, you need something to make those minerals combust. You need to get the combustion correct. Someone could argue, well, uh, all of these minerals would have been so compressed that it wouldn't have needed anything like that. But we have to remember, in the beginning there was nothing. So how can nothing compress? How can nothing combust? How can nothing explode? And how can nothing become immeasurable billions upon billions upon billions upon countless billions of tons of minerals and, uh, and, and metals and gas and liquids and spread out all over the universe and place itself in such a position that it becomes planets and suns and, um, and life forms and eventually makes mankind, uh, makes man should I say. It doesn't make any sense. We'd have to go all the way back to the Big Bang again. In order for there to have been a Big Bang, there would need to be something there to explode. When there is an explosion, whatever matter is there is vaporised. In order to have
explosion, the size that would cause um, a, a universe to, to, uh, to be formed, it would have to be such a, an explosion of such magnitude that it, it's beyond our understanding. And whatever would have been there would have been completely vaporized. So how did it form back into rocks? It makes no sense. Nothing cannot explode. Nothing cannot become something all on its own. It's like the argument concerning that alien creatures, uh, the Anunnaki for instance, made us. Well then you have to ask two questions. Who made them? And if they are God, why did they need winged discs to fly around? God wouldn't need a winged disc, would he? So how do you make nothing explode? I mean, we could say a silly argument like, well, that's like trying to light a fire by rubbing two snowballs together. You'd have more chance of lighting a fire with two snowballs, rubbing them together, than you would of creating the universe out of an explosion which happened out of nothing and instead of vaporizing and destroying matter creating it it doesn't make any sense for those of you who believe in the big bang theory um, i'd be very interested to hear what you have to say um, i'm inviting everyone whether you are uh, christians whether you are atheists wherever you may be um, to give us your views on this and to have a logical and rational debate amongst all of us as to how it could possibly be and see if any of us can find any form of common ground in a rational, reasonable, scientific and sensible manner.